everybody uh, welcome to the route that the junction cottage phone line takes bear with me it's a long way and I have to say before we start if you want decent broadband good fast broadband signal this is the worst possible route it could take now uh, in last year or so they moved it slightly and it uh, I think it now starts at this box here which as you can see is box 13 um, and it probably goes now, uh, as of the last year or so, um, past the um, public footpath entrance along here. Quite a long way. That's the, the uh, footpath entrance to the, to the mile down there. Uh, all the way down here. I'm going to pause the video a bit more, We're going to, but I'll keep walking. Okay, as you can probably tell, I paused the video and we're now outside Newlands. I think that house used to belong to the school. And um, we've come down the road that way by about, uh, about a minute's walk. And the cable used to go, I think, into that um, telegraph pole there. But now, as I said, since they've installed the, um, the fibre cabinets, it goes into goes down that way and from here it goes through that hedge somewhere I think and I'm gonna pause the video because it'll take me a minute or two to get to the other side of the hedge okay I'm now the other side of the hedge there's Newland's house and its garden there the rugby pitch is off in the distance and also the school off to the right now I don't think it goes anywhere through the ground of Newland's Although maybe at one time, because the Newlands belonged to the school, it may have actually connected in there. Anyway, as far as I know, this bit is, I guess you'd call it the farmland where the cows sometimes go. The grass is quite deep here, but it goes along here, along the hedge, uh, a little way, towards the rugby pitches. So bear with me, I'm going to walk that bit. I might pause the camera in just a moment. Um, and whilst we're talking, um, I'll tell you what Roger Green, who used to live in Stedman's, told me. He remembered when this phone line was first installed by BT, and they certainly did it on the cheap. Because apparently, he said, at the time, um, copper was very expensive, so they used aluminium cable instead which of course hasn't, hasn't borne the test of time. And quite a lot, quite often this, uh, this route has been dug up by rabbits, foxes, um, diggers digging trenches. I'll show you one or two places where that happened. So the state of the line is pretty poor at best. Um, I don't know whether BT have improved it since then. I don't think they have. Uh, so it comes past the, the animal trough here past that little entrance over there, round this little corner and under this gate here. That's where I remember them, when they were, were marking it up, BT marked it up, I came out here and they showed me where it went. I'm going to pause here. So we're now the other side of that gate, uh, round the corner of the rugby pitches and uh, it gets quite boggy here at times. And there's a ditch here. So we're now walking way right down the back, what you might think, think of as the back of the rugby pitches. It goes past along the side of this hedge. Um, you see the rugby pitches over there, along this hedge here. 
Now this is a very long walk. It's a very long piece of cable. Before they installed the BT um, broadband box just out there on Two Mile Ash, uh, box 13 I showed you, the cable used to go even further when Debbie and I were in Junction Cottage because uh, it went way over into Southwater, into box 13, and that wasn't the end. Uh, we'll pause it here. So, as a result of the distance it took, which was well over four miles, the broadband 15 years ago was terrible. And I can't imagine that it's any much better now because there's still a long distance and the quality of the cable is very poor. In fact, uh, BT, when they tried to repair it a couple of times, said they only had uh, one usable pair and that wasn't very good, a pair of, of wires within the cable, and that wasn't very good. And sometimes the broadband would only work on one, one wire. So there you go, not very good, and it's probably no much better now. It goes through this junction box here, that's a BD junction box, again alongside the hedge. Uh, I don't think there's any junction there, it's just a joint where they'd replace the cable. And you can see the row of hedges down, down to the, the small cricket pavilion there. I'll keep walking a little while and pause again. Just a few more yards and I've come to another BT junction box. Again, that was probably a link where they would kind of replaced a section just here some many years ago. And that gives you an idea of how many times they've had to fix it. Keep walking along the hedge here. I'll pause again because it's a long walk. Okay, I've walked another little way along the hedge around the back of the rugby pitches and you can see the other side is the field where the solar panels are. And we just keep going and going and going. I'll pause again because there's more to walk. Okay, now uh, I've walked some distance now and I'm, I've just come to where the cable goes past the stile here. It doesn't go the other side of the fence of the hedge at this point. It carries on towards Stedman's, but there's an interesting little bit here which I'll tell you about, which uh, we're just coming towards the place where uh, the gardening people put all the uh, the compost um, so and one of the rugby pitches over there but I'll pause it now for a few seconds okay now I've come to a slight slight diversion here where the cable goes into this box here BT box that one you'll see the field there where David X often puts his cows and behind me is the school so we've still gone along the hedge, but we take a slightly different route there by a few feet. Because uh, when Debbie and I had problems with our broadband, we complained to the chairman of BT, and eventually they sent two guys out to install this uh, box and put in a completely new cable round here where the footpath goes. You can see we're looking towards Stedman's now. David's got his cows in the field over there and it follows between the fence and this tiny little woodland here, this coppice, whatever you like to call it, along what is actually the footpath and I'll keep running the video here because it's, it gets a bit more intricate. And you can just see over there, it's that we're walking towards Stedman's now, where Roger Green used to live. Uh, okay, a few brambles. Now, this is where the footpath continues, and the cable, there's a nice, uh, nice new gate there actually. But the cable continues for three, three or four feet here. And then we get to this gate. And at the point of this gate, the gate comes from this post here on the left hand side of the gate as I'm looking at it. Along the underneath, along where the gate is. And up to the other side of the gate. 
So again, we're looking at the cows in the field and Stedman's is just beyond that hedge. And then it goes, we're looking this way, then it goes round the, the, the wall of Stedman's here, round here, and to about, there's a drain there. And somewhere here in all this vegetation, I think about here, there's a very old BT actually post office junction box, or at least there was a few years ago. And a while ago, somebody dumped a whole load of rubbish on it. So goodness knows what state it was in. Uh, I can't find it now, but it, it was certainly was here somewhere. I don't quite know exactly where about here. Um, and from here, I think it goes through, I'll show you Stedman's. I think it, it serves Stedman's. Oh, you've knocked it down. Have you knocked it down? No, Stedman's is just down there. Uh, I think that's the cable that serves Stedman's. Now to get to Junction Cottage, it doesn't go the direct route. Again, not ideal for broadband. It comes back out of the junction box here. That's a drain, I know, but the, the junction box is or was here somewhere. And it goes round the top end of Stedman's. I'm gonna pause it here. Now on the uh, other side of that gate uh, with Stedman's at, behind the hedge there on the left. And the cable, from what I remember, follows this hedge that is the boundary to Stedman's. We're in the cow field now again. Follows that. I've got to look where I'm going because there's a lot of cow muck here. Um, past this cattle trough here. It goes along the footpath basically because as you see there's a footpath sign here uh, on the out, just on the outside of the wall of Stedman's or the hedge there. We're now walking towards the Downs Link along the boundary of Stedman's and down to here. And oh, good, they've done they've redone the gate here, that's great. We come to the gate here, and if I go through this gate, the cable goes uh, actually, as far as I know, under this uh, under this gate, well, where the, where the footpath goes, under this gate, underground. And through the brambles a bit, where the footpath goes and now out onto the Downs Link. All right, that's one down. That's South Watering off, off in that direction, Christ's Hospital in that direction. So it should be about under, the cable will be about under my feet now. And we start walking along, I think the middle of the Downs Link. And it goes down here for several yards. We're heading towards Junction Cottage now, but it's a little way off. So I'm going to carry on walking down the Downs Link towards Junction Cottage and towards Christ Hospital. And I'm going to pause for a moment. We've now just got walking past the steps that go up to the uh, level crossing um, off the Downs Link onto the what's now the railway. Incidentally, if anybody's interested, I've got photographs of steam engines using the old Downs Link and originally um, with uh, Junction Cottage in the background and we walk, keep walking along the Downs Link until we get to the back end of Junction Cottage. I'm going to pause here. So still at the steps that go up to the level crossing um, and on the other side there's steps into what some people call a bird sanctuary. This is at the bottom, uh, well, at what, the bottom of what used to be the garden of Junction Cottage, but we had it shortened because it was too much to manage. And the cable comes from underneath my feet here somewhere. At about this point, 
it goes up the bank there and into the garden of Stedman uh, Junction Cottage. So I'll pause it here and then I'll have to go and ask permission to walk in the garden of Junction Cottage to show you exactly where it goes across the garden. Okay, now in the back garden of Junction Cottage, lovely place to live, we really enjoyed it here. And just behind me is where the cable comes across the garden and somewhere between here, uh, it, it goes across what used to be the, the back garden but it got shortened, right down onto where I showed you on the Downs link. And then it comes across the garden here somewhere, not sure, entirely sure quite where, round to the left of the house. Probably about where these, these trees and bushes are. I'm pretty sure it comes out around here on the corner of the house. And then it goes round beside the back door. Trees there on the left. Through this gate. Through the gate here. Under the, the paving stones. By the back door. Under the concrete. And finally to this very old British telecom junction here. And the only place it goes from here uh, they may have it installed somewhere else, it's up the wall and into the house. And that's basically it. Um, that's what that junction box is, for, box is for. And when BT came here, they'd always look at this box here to find out, you know, what was going wrong, as it frequently was. Okay, so that's the route that it takes. It's a very long way. Um, if you really wanted decent broadband, you wouldn't choose that route. Um, the cable is old um, and it's in very, it was in very bad condition. The best route actually it, to serve Stedman's and Junction Cottage would be more direct from here and the cable back down, there's the garage, back down that way towards the school, completely new cable over a shorter distance down to where BT have installed the new junction boxes just outside the um, uh, central stores. Hope that's been helpful and uh, I'll take my anorak off now. I quite enjoyed the walk but we'll, we'll stop now. Take care. Bye.